Meanwhile, are you old enough to remember when gas cost $1.61 a gallon? We bet you are because it was only about two years ago at the height of the recession. Now it's almost $2 higher. The biggest jump happened in the past three weeks. Since the revolt in Libya, gas is up 38 cents to an average of $3.52 a gallon. That reflects the rise in oil up another dollar today to more than $105 a barrel. With pump prices rising nearly two cents a day, Anthony Mason reports President Obama is weighing his options. The price run up in the oil trading pits and the gas pumps has the White House considering tapping into the nation's emergency supply. It's, it's an option that's on the table. Set up after the Arab oil boycott of 1973, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve holds 726 million barrels of crude in four salt caverns along the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast. It's the world's largest emergency oil reservoir, enough for the U.S. to withstand a loss of imports for more than two months and only the president can authorize its use. The statutory language that authorizes the president to make that decision is very broad. It says the reserve may be tapped during a severe energy supply interruption that may cause an adverse impact on the national economy. They can take the economic damage argument and, and use that if they want to. But the White House has done that only twice, during the first Gulf War in 1991 and then in the wake of Hurricane Katrina in 2005 when a release of 11 million barrels helped put the brake on gas prices, which dropped from over $3 to 275 in less than a month. The price at the pump is now, of course, even higher. How much of a threat are oil prices to the recovery and the economy? They're not much of a threat. Economist Lakshman Achuthan says the U.S. economy is actually gaining strength. The unrest in the Middle East, a spike in oil, will not derail this economy anytime soon. And while crude production in Libya, which provides 2% of the world's oil, has been disrupted, the world is still producing more oil than it uses every day. The loss of supply out of Libya has been made up to a certain extent with an increase of supply from Saudi Arabia. Why then are oil and gas prices soaring again? Well, the explanation is it's uh, unbridled uh, investment money uh, that is dominating a market um, to the point where supply and demand doesn't matter anymore. Sean Coda, who heads an oil industry group, says pension and hedge funds have been pouring into the oil market. The other trades in crude oil. Bidding up the price. In fact, last week, two-thirds of all the oil traded was bought or sold not by oil companies, but by investors. The total world energy supply is bought and sold every day about eight times. Oil and gas prices are not expected to retreat until the unrest ebbs in the Middle East. And analysts say that could take months. Katie. Really interesting. Anthony Mason, Anthony, thank you.